Good morning, everybody. Today, I wanted to talk to you about my stick bugs or my stick insects. So I'm first of all going to take a couple out just so you can see them again. And you might have seen them at circle time. Uh, let's see. So there's a big guy. Come on out, bud. Come on out. Here's one of my really big stick insects. Now, all of my stick bugs are girls. Okay, so they lay eggs every year, and um, I get more and more and more. So here's one of my stick insects. They like to climb up my arm. They like to go exploring when I let them out. They don't hurt me. They feel a little tickly, actually, and we'll read about why that is. Come on, let's go back. Go back home. Let's see if I can find a smaller one. Now some of my stick insects are little babies and they're growing. Whoops, this one's falling on my laptop. And the way I pick them up is by their tails. You see that one? This is a very little one, so this is still a baby. I think it's in its second stage. So they shed their skin and they get bigger each time. All right, put you back. Let's read about stick insects. All right, and then we'll sh I'll show you some of the things that I use to take care of my stick insects, okay? So this is one of my stick bug books. I think the other one might be at school still, but this one is really good because it shows real pictures, okay? So this says stick insect. It's a bug book. What are stick insects? Stick insects are very unusual insects. There are many types of insects, but they all have a similar shape. Can you guess what kind of shape that is? Like a line? A stick? <laughs> all stick insects have very long bodies. Some types of stick insects have wings. Can you see the stick insect on that long? They're kind of difficult to see, right? Because they blend in, they're camouflaged. What do stick insects look like? Well, let's see. There's legs and head. Some stick insects look like thin sticks. They have six legs and small heads. Most stick insects are green or brown. So mine are brown and they have, they're very thin. These are the thin kind. I have this kind. Stick insects have a mouth and two big eyes. They can see up, down, backwards, and forwards at the same time. They have two antennae for feeling and smelling. So they have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then they have two little antenna on the top. See? How big are stick insects? Most adult stick insects are about as long as your hand. So you saw the stick insect on my hand, right? Pretty long. Some stick insects that live in tropical countries are bigger. They can be nearly as long as a ruler. That's really long. So I got to go see some of these really long stick insects at the Oakland Zoo. They actually have a bunch of stick insects in their bug, um, their bug room. So if you're ever interested in seeing some of these different kinds of stick insects, that's a great place to go when you can. How are stick insects born? Female stick insects lay hundreds of eggs. Some eggs are hard and round like little seeds. The baby stick insects can stay inside the eggs for a long time. So we saw some of the mommies and we saw some of the babies today, right? The babies that hatch out of the eggs are called nymphs. They look like tiny adult stick insects, but they have no wings. Most baby stick insects are females. Males are very rare. So we don't have any stick insects that have wings at my house. We have little tiny nymphs though, which is what I showed you. Those are the babies. How do in stick insects grow? Let's see, look at those little pictures. Wow, that's a really big picture. The nymphs grow quickly. They get too big for their skin. The old skin falls off and there's a new skin underneath. This is called molting. 
So I said that my nymphs are in the second stage, so they've already molted once. So they went from being in their egg, they molted, and now they have little green legs. <laughs> the new skin is very soft, but it soon gets harder when it dries out. Some stick insects molt five or six times before they are adults. Very cool. So I also get some, I, I might have, oh, I do. I don't know if you'll be able to see super well. Yeah, you can see pretty well. This is a molting from the, um, this is when my stick insect went from its um, last to final stage to its final stage. So this is when they got really, really big. You can see this one was hanging off of the top of my terrarium up here. Okay, let's see. Um, how do stick insects move? Wow, that's a big guy. Stick insects walk slowly. They sway from side to side like a twig in the wind, and when they are still, they point their two front legs out in front of them. Boop. So when I first got stick insects, I thought their front legs were actually their antenna because they stuck them out in front of them really, really straight. And then I realized they had the two tiny little antenna in front, and those long ones in front were their legs too. Some stick insects have a pair of wings. They can fly a short way, and sometimes they flash their wings to frighten predators. Again, mine do not have wings. This is waiting on there. What do stick insects eat? All stick insects eat leaves. They also drink water. Some stick insects look like the leaves they eat. So, let's see. In Australia, there are a lot of stick insects, like the one in the picture. When they are hungry, they can eat all the leaves on a eucalyptus tree. Oh my goodness. So, can I show you something else really, really cool about my stick insects? So I'm going to have to put on a glove because I have um, some really sharp things here to show you. So, every morning, in order to replicate the tropical climate they're from, because they're from India, I spray them with a bottle of water, a little spray bottle, and it makes it nice and moist inside of their terrarium, and it makes all the leaves wet so that they can drink it. And I have a video from a long time ago of one of them licking all the water off of the glass. It was so cool. And you could see their little, their mouth opening and closing. So in their terrariums, I have, let's see, I have some plants that I'll put in. I do not use eucalyptus because mine don't really like eucalyptus too, too much, but I use blackberry leaves. These are very, very sharp, so I've gone and cut off the thorns on the bottom so I can pick this one up. I'm even using a glove. This is very, very sharp stuff, and it grows all over my backyard, and we are we go crazy because it's all over the place. And then we also have this. This is a type of rose that does not have many thorns. It has some tiny, tiny ones, but it's not very, um, it's not very pointy. So I can pick this one up without a glove if I want to. This one's okay. But they also eat rose leaves, so this is something else that I might feed them. And if you can see right now, I'm going to put some in because they've already eaten all of their uh, blackberry leaves in there. The other thing I keep around all the time is a magnifying glass so that I can look at them a little bit closer while they're eating and drinking. And I have this stuff called coconut substrate. And it comes in a little puck and you put water on it and it expands. And so that stays in the bottom of my terrarium. And so the eggs will drop into there. So I don't clean it out very often. Okay, let's keep reading and see what else we can find out about our stick insects. Ooh. This is kind of a funny picture. Oh my goodness. Which animals eat stick insects? Well, it looks like humans might eat stick insects sometimes. Lizards and birds eat stick insects. In some hot countries, people even eat insects, stick insects. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't want to eat any of my stick insects, but I guess if I lived somewhere that that was a something that you do, I might try it. <laughs> if a stick insect is in danger, it stays very still. It looks like a twig. This camouflage works so well that sometimes predators do not even see them hiding. Wow. So this is showing their skin. This is part of their body. And I'll go back to the other page at the beginning just to remind you what it looks like when they're camouflaged on a, on a, um, a log or a twig. So that's what they look like when they're camouflaged. 
where do stick insects live? Stick insects live in, a hot, in hot countries. They live where there are lots of trees and bushes so they can eat the leaves and hide from predators. So there's a stick insect again. Wow, that one's really pretty. Do you see all the little detailing in here of where the um, body is? Kind of looks like the edges of a leaf or even the thorns from my blackberry bramble a little bit. So some people keep stick insects as pets. They keep them warm. So I keep them inside all the time and I spray water on them to make it humid in there so that makes it really warm. Um, they keep them in tall cases. So I have a tall case just like this one shown. You see it? I have a tall case for them and it says in the book, um, this is so the stick insects have room to climb because they um, eat leaves and, and eucalyptus trees right? And so they're climbing in their natural habitat. So I am replicating their natural habitat so that I can watch them and I can learn about them, right? How long do stick insects live? Lots of stick insects are eaten when they are still nymphs, but none of mine get eaten because there's no predators in there. They're just with their mommies, right? Adult stick insects like this one can live for about a year. So every year, some of my big, big stick bugs, they pass away and they fall to the bottom of my terrarium. So I just nicely take them out and I bury them and the little babies grow bigger and bigger and bigger and then I have new ones. So some adult stick insects live for nearly two years. None of mine have. They need food, shelter, and water to live. All things that I give my stick bugs. What do stick insects do? Stick insects can stay still for a long time. Yeah, sometimes I come in and my stick bugs aren't moving at all. They hold on with special pads and little tiny claws on their feet. And remember when I said earlier that they kind of tickle my, my arm when they're climbing on me? It's because of their little tiny sticky claws. But they don't hurt. And they never bite me. Sometimes if a stick insect is in danger, it will fall off of a twig and lie on the ground pretending to be dead. So sometimes when my stick bugs are feeling really frightened, like my little baby nymphs, they'll just fall straight from wherever they're at. Um, even they've fallen off me if they've gotten scared when I'm looking at them or helping them out. They just fall off of my, my arm and I have to pick them back up. How are stick insects special? If a young stick insect gets its leg trapped, it can escape by breaking it off. It will hover around on five legs until a new one grows when it's molting. Oh my gosh, look at this face. How cute. That one reminds me of the stick bug from uh, A Bug's Life, kind of. Um, so let's see. So they have they have six legs, and if one of them gets um, messed up or broken or anything like that, they just fall off until the next time they molt. Um, I think I may have a stick bug in there that has only five. Let's see if I can find it real quickly. Do, 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 do. I have quite a few right now. Um, let's see. Oh, I do. I just found one. Let me show you really quickly. So this one only has five. But I'm pretty sure that she's in her last stage because she's very, very big. So I don't think she's going to molt anymore and she will probably end up um, only having five legs for the rest of her life. But that's okay because she's safe. And if you can see on the end, this is where her leg would have come out of right here. And she's doing okay. She's totally fine with just five legs. She's making it work. So that's my, that's one of my stick bugs. I'm going to let her kind of crawl on me while I'm finishing our book, just so that you can see how they move. Whoops. Oh, that one dropped. Whoop. Excuse me. She got nervous, so she dropped, just like I was talking about. Hi. She might be a little more nervous because she has less legs, too. Hi. And Lilo's down there trying to get my attention because she hears me talking to the stick bugs. Stick insects have tiny holes called spiracles along their bodies. They breathe through these holes. Let's see if we can find a spiracle on, on you. Hi. Oh. Let's see. 
So they show that they're right on the edge of their body, but I'm having a little trouble finding them. Maybe if you look up some images of some stick bugs, you might be able to figure out where spiracles are on their bodies, right? But I'll show you the picture in their book. There it is. So you see that little tiny hole, right? And that's how they breathe. think about this, okay? So thinking about stick insects. This girl wants to keep a stick insect as a pet. What will the stick insect need to stay healthy? So remember, they need water, they need um, food, which is the uh, blackberry bramble, the rose leaves, or eucalyptus leaves if yours like them. Um, you need a terrarium or something with a very tall body so that they stay nice and moist and hot. And they need some sort of soil in the bottom, right? So what I want to let you know is that stick bugs like this are best for the classroom. So I would love to bring some in so that you can sh we can share them together. But it's really um, it's important that only teachers have these kinds of stick bugs because they're not from here. They're from India. So they have to have very special care and they're for us to explore and understand better. So it's not necessarily a good idea for everybody to have a stick bug, but it's okay for us to have them for our class and for teachers so that we can share them with our students, okay? So, and I actually got these from a, a teacher that was mentoring me, um, so a teacher that taught me, um, and she let me have some so that I can share them with my students. So I'm really glad that I'm getting to share them with you. Okay. Let's see, we have one more thing. In this photo, some stick insects are hiding. How many can you see? How are they camouflaged? Wow, I don't know. Maybe you can look at it and figure out how many stick bugs are in this picture. They kind of look like bark, so it's hard to tell because I see some things hanging down. Let's check this last page out. Here's, here is a little diagram that shows you all about the parts of the stick bug, right? All right, let's see, what does it show? Sharp claws, their eyes, their jaw, their feelers, their head, their breathing holes, which are called spiracles, and their legs. Oh, I'm seeing the breathing holes a little bit better. Maybe I can show you on, on this girl right here. Yeah, I think the spiracles are gonna be right here on the top part, like right in here. They're like little, little noses for them to help them breathe. So I'm going to set, let her go back home so that she can be with her babies. And I am going to say I'll see you soon. And I hope that you enjoyed this video learning more about stick bugs and stick insects. Let me show you one more time my little terrarium. So I've got a big log in the back. I've got some little houses that I made or that I bought, and all of my stick bugs hang out in here. I've got a light for them so that it's bright during the day and I turn it off at night. And they just eat and eat and eat and drink lots of water. So I will talk to you soon. I love you all. Have a great day.